Hey everybody, welcome to your weekly situationship general tarot energy reading for every single zodiac sign with me, Stella Wild. This is for the week of July 12th through the 18th. So this is how it's going to go down. I'm going to draw two cards for each sign with this beautiful tarot card and then we'll pull from the top. Okay, so we'll get three cards for each sign. And these are emotional energies that you can work with during the week, okay? That may be of importance to you. Remember, like I like to say on this channel, use the energy, don't let it use you. These are energetic potentials that you can choose to use or not. Watch for your sun, moon, and rising sign. And if you're a Cancer and you couldn't make it to our birthday celebration last night, which was so fun, thank you so much to the Cancers who showed up. I had so much fun with you guys. Definitely check it out, it's, it's on the channel. As a recording, we did it live, and the Leo one will be coming up in August. I'll try to get that announced a little ahead of time so you guys can plan for that. It's so much fun, and I love doing it. So we'll draw from this deck, and then I will also pull an Angel Answers Oracle card for each sign. Okay? All right, so let's get into it. So just on an astrological note, Mercury did go direct today, July 12th, Sunday, I think at 4.32 a.m. Eastern Time. So... So news, if you've been waiting on hearing some news, hopefully you'll, you'll hear something this week. We do have the moon uh, transiting conjunct Uranus on mon late Monday into Tuesday. So keep that in mind. There could be, especially for Tauruses, and now that Mercury's gone direct, some sort of very um, interesting information revealed if you've been waiting on that. So uh, otherwise, the week looks pretty good. We are heading toward a very powerful uh, new moon next week. So we'll talk more about that um, as we get closer to it in next week's forecast. All right, Aries. So let's see the emotional energies that you are working with this week. Aries, what do my Aries people need to know? All right, let's see what we have for you guys. Okay, no reversals with this deck. We have Justice. And we have the Six of Cups. So that's very interesting energy here. So this could be, Justice of course represents Libra energy. And with the Six of Cups, this could be some sort of emotional recollection with a Libra energy, a friend. There could be, now that Mercury has gone direct, it is possible that if you've been waiting on hearing from a Libra, that especially a Libra from your past or past connection of any type, friend, family, romance, it could be that news finally comes in from them this week. The other thing I would say, though, about this energy, Aries, it's about taking care of your innocent emotional side and keeping some balance. Like, if you've been really pushing hard, Aries, to accomplish certain things, which I'm sure you have been because the energy is, you know, in your sign right now. Mars is in Aries. So a lot of Aries are feeling very fired, very, you know, fired up, pumped up. And that's great. But this energy to me suggests keep that energy in balance and make sure you're also attending to old friends, family relationships, uh, tender emotional situations, Six of Cups, your innocent side. Make time this week to play a little bit, Aries. Uh, just try to, you know, kick back and enjoy yourself. Balance is important. So if there has been something also you've been waiting on, Aries, to hear about in terms of some sort of court case involving child custody or and or divorce involving children, the news should be coming this week. There should be something happening with that, with these two energies coming up. Now, remember, these are general readings. It's not going to apply. Certain specific things may not apply to everybody, but I like to try to bring as much information as I can about the two energies. Okay, but to me, this is about really keeping emotional balance, letting your inner child come out and play this week, Aries. And look what we have here. The star. I mean, Aries. This is so beautiful. So... A lot of times, this is what I'm feeling with all of this energy so far, a lot of times when we push, and we Aries are known to be pushy. Is that terrible? Okay, no, you know, we, we can be. We, we have, you know, the ram's head. We're like, go in there and get, what, get what's yours, right? So with this star energy, which is about being a star in whatever it is you're trying to do, love, money, romance, whatever, personal goals, this energy is suggesting, again, you will achieve your goals faster 
by approaching them with a more balanced approach and also possibly with a more Libran approach. So sometimes this, this, so this is for this week, Aries. If you've been trying to manifest something important to you to, you know, especially in the romance, because I try to make these weeklies a little more like romantic inspired. If you've been really trying to be the star of somebody's world, been really trying to rock their world, um, <laughs> it's, it's really important, Aries, to bring some more of a charm offensive more Libran politeness, manners, charm, instead of the rough, rowdy, gruff uh, energy that Aries can sometimes be known for. And you'll get that emotional connection a lot faster if you do that. Same thing, if you need to heal something, so the star is also about healing. If you need to heal a relationship connection with someone this week, take the Libran approach, not your usual approach, okay? So, very nice energy, and if there is something going on here with a legal matter, the star suggests that it should come to some sort of favorable conclusion. Okay, that's a very nice card to pop up. All right, let's pull an angel card for you guys real quick. Let's see, you can think of a question. We'll also just look at this as energies that you may be working with or to keep an eye on. This week, Aries, good stuff, Aries. For this week i love it all right what do we have we have two that's stuck in my hand <laughs> okay so we have improving health and we have ariel showing up we have improving health which i'm not surprised with the star card there so if you have had a little recent injury as i have to my foot um that's good i'm happy to see this so improving health and also there is something that you need to ask your angels about you really need to tune in with spirit that can also be with that star card as well, Aries. So really nice, nice energy. Um, so yeah, whatever you've been doing to heal yourself, whether mentally, spiritually, emotionally, keep doing it, Aries, because it seems like it's working. And that star card and this card affirms that for you. All right, Aries, have a great week. All right, Taurus, let's see what's going on for you. Ariel just popped in toward the tail end of the Aries reading, so... She is lending her energy. I love when Ariel shows up. Ariel, thank you so much for being here with us. All right, Taurus, let's see what we have for you. So these readings, you know, if, if you're new to the channel, these readings are like more I try to look at kind of like love and relationships, emotional situations, emotional energies. So we have awakening. So we have the judgment card here for you. Beautiful energy. And we have the Four of Pentacles. Okay, so let's look at this. Thank you, Ariel. Thank you, sweetie. Okay, so Judgment and the Four of Pentacles. There's some sort, and this in this card it's called Awakening. So there's some sort of real um, epiphany you're having this week, Taurus, about your financial security. Where it's coming from, what do you need to do to get it. Um, but Four of Pentacles, I read Pentacles also as self-esteem, so... The four is really about where you feel at home, okay? Where you feel secure at home, safe. And that means your, you know, your literal four walls, literal four walls, but also just how you feel safe to be who you are in the world. So there is something where, and again, Uranus, the moon is gonna be conjuncting Uranus in your sign. Um, and I mean, it does that every, every month at some point because the moon's always in Taurus at some point, but but especially this week, it will be. So uh, this does suggest that there is something that you may have an epiphany about, some sort of piece of information coming in about, especially about your uh, finances. All right, let's pull from the top of this deck. And we have the Leo card, the strength card. So this is gorgeous. Look, two major arcana showing up for you, awakening and strength. So you are awakening to some sort of uh, renewed strength in your life, Taurus, especially when it comes to how you feel about yourself and perhaps some recent decisions you're making or are about to make. And the key with this is to really play to your strengths, I like to say, when the Leo card comes out and make the choice that allows you to fully shine in the world. Now, 
the other like you know not hide away but really shine and be out there in the world so there could be some energy you're dealing with that this this week it's not about hiding away right ariel it's not about hiding away it's about it's about really putting your light out there excuse me there also could be a leo involved in your life this week if you've been dealing with a leo taurus there's a decision to make about about them and if they are really going to be there to support you and be a part of your foundational world right the four of pentacles the foundation of your life do they value you do they value you that's an important question to ask this week so there may be some information that comes in the yes the no maybe you know there could be also with the leo energy especially if you're dealing with a leo person and this awakening judgment card here there could be a fresh start with a leo person uh if you decide they are right for you it's up to you taurus you've got to decide uh and that's what i feel this four of pentacles is is here for too like you are really looking at it from the perspective of do they add to my life or do they take away from my life are there are they adding to my strength in the world and how i show up in the world or are they dragging me down so very important energy to look at and remember these are general readings apply this the energy how it fits your life right ariel <laughs> whether that that could be a job situation romantic situation whatever the case may be all right let's pull an angel card for you look at this cat do you see this cat <laughs> all right taurus let's pull an angel card you can ask a question hopefully this will be an answer for you let's see what we have compromise okay so especially if you're dealing with because the thing is if you're dealing with a leo they're just as stubborn as you are both are fixed signs both are fixed energies so there needs to be some middle ground and maybe that's the awakening the decision you come to this this week taurus with this situation is that maybe it can't be all your way and it probably can't be all the leo's way either there needs to be a happy medium so very important card i know that taurus you want what you want when you want it um but and once you get it you don't want to let it go but there may be something where you have to learn a bit of compromise with this situation all right gemini let's see what's going on for you this week so with these readings, I like to kind of look more at the emotional energies, but remember, apply the energy to your personal situation. I try to make it relate kind of more to love things, but it may also be equally applicable to your work life as well. All right, let's see what we have for you, Gemini. We have the Two of Cups. Very nice. Oh, what's on the bottom here? the ten of pentacles or materials in this deck as they like to call it gorgeous two of cups and ten of materials so gosh i'm just feeling like i'm well i'm feeling a couple things the first thing i was feeling with this energy gemini is that your partner is bringing you some darn good news about money this week <laughs> or you're bringing really good news about money to your partner this week. Either way, um, they're equally, because the Ten of Pentacles can be, uh, you know, family security, family happiness, uh, family, especially in terms of money and, like I said, security, real estate. There could be a meeting this week that you're you're having with a real estate professional looking to sell your home. There could be, um, you know, some sort of... Um, it's just, I'm just feeling, the Two of Cups is normally a meeting, right? But I'm feeling it's more like somebody in your life who's like a family member, your partner, etc., brings you good news about money that is going to allow you to do something better in your home. Maybe it's news about moving. You finally got some home financing or money for the down payment security deposit on a new apartment. 
Um, maybe you you know you're setting up a date to go look at houses with with a new real estate agent. You know something like that. I'm really feeling very strongly. Now the other possibility with this also is that you could be having. I mean, two of cups is about a meeting. Now that usually because it's cups, it's you know a love situation. But this could be going on a job interview as well. One in which it would have the opportunity to really grow into something stable and secure for your family. So if you have a job interview this week with this Two of Cups energy, um, I feel like you'd be meeting with somebody very like-minded. Like they would really get you. Like it would be a very nice rapport that you would have with them. And they would really like to know that you are a... I mean, I'm just sharing this with you. This is what I'm intuitively feeling. A real like solid citizen type energy with this ten of pentacles like a family person okay i'm just telling you the angle maybe to play gemini if that applies to you all right and we also have the muse of inspiration we have the ace i think is this the ace i can't remember in this deck i think this is the ace i don't think this is the queen oh my god i'm so embarrassed i'm gonna have to check hold on Okay, I should have trusted my gut instinct. This is, instead of the kings, they don't have kings in this deck, they have muses. So this is the king of wands energy. So this is gorgeous, king of wands energy. So you have the ability to take charge of a situation um, this week, Gemini, in a very, um, just, I'm just feeling like something big could be coming in for you this week um, that you have perhaps that you've been really exerting a lot of energy toward manifesting. King of Wands is really, well, you know, muse of inspiration here, whatever, is really about, um, you know, just firing on all cylinders, really trying to make something happen and putting the physical energy, you know, walking your talk, really getting something going. And in this deck, I mean, you can see this person is walking down a new path. And it's a gateway. You can see this beautiful gateway of new possibility opening up. So there is something very beautiful, but I really feel it's strongly connected to a home situation for you, um, particularly in manifesting some sort of um, real estate possibility. This could be a promotion, though. Again, like news of a promotion. This Two of Cups can be you get called into the boss's office and they're like, hey, by the way, uh, we're promoting you and <laughs> this this increase in your pay starts next month and here you go and king of wands or muse of inspiration can be very much that you know promotion type energy so that's very possible here gemini this is good energy you can make something really positive happen for yourself this week with utilizing your power of um your power of physical energy and manifestation mojo and getting your finances in order, attending to your financial situation um, with the Ten of Pentacles, and uh, you know, also spending some time with your significant other this week as well, this Two of Cups. So this is good energy. Very, very nice. But I'm just feeling there's good news this week for you. All right, let's do an angel card and see what else we have. This is even the type of energy where <laughs> this music inspiration, you finally decide to like clean out your closet, Gemini, finally. And it's the type of thing where you're going through like your coat pockets, your purses, stuff like that. And you find like $20 bill or $50 bill or something like that, that you forgot about, right? The 10 of coins. And you're able to take your significant other out for like a nice meal or order out and bring it home, right? So it's like even that type of energy could be manifesting. Something very nice. Um, and I feel it has a tiny bit of an element of surprise to it. In the sense that, I mean, you've been working toward it, but I think because of this Ten of Pentacles showing up, I'm feeling like it's going to be even better than what you were trying to manifest. Do you agree, Ariel? What do you think? What do you think, Ariel? <laughs> there is. There's an opportunity for you this week, Gemini. 
look at this, the coins falling from the ceiling. I love this. So there is something really good that you can take advantage of this week. So keep your antenna up and keep doing your manifestation work because this is nice energy for you this week. I mean, this is, I have to say one other thing. This can even be meeting somebody new who's in your same line of work um, and possibly could be a fire sign. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And the, an opportunity, a financial opportunity could come through them or also a dating opportunity since the Two of Cups is here. Good week. Have a good week, Gemini. That's awesome. All right, Cancer. Let's see what we have for you this week with your situationship. Please do go check out your uh, birthday year head reading. The live one I did it was so fun. And for those cancers who showed up, I had so much fun with you guys. It was awesome. All right. All these cards are flying all over the place. Okay. Let's see what we have for you. Okay. My assistant is here and she's taking up all the room. Okay, we have the High Priestess for you. And we have the Knight of Pentacles. Wow, okay. So pay attention this week, Cancer, to your intuitive hunches about a change you want to make financially. So this could be applying for a new job. This can be, of course, um, some creative project you're pursuing that you hope will make you money. This could be changing your bank account in some way. This could be, um, you know, changing investments or investing in something new. It's the intuition. It's very important this week in terms of changes that you want to make with your finances. Also possibly changes you want to make to your home. So let's pull another card from the top and see what else we have for you. The page of inspiration. So there will be some news coming in this week that um, I feel like it's probably going to be something. It could be something like you're watching a video and you get a psychic hit, <laughs> you know, a video about anything really, um, but particularly perhaps something related to what you're pursuing for your job, a creative project, uh, finances, or home with the Knight of Pentacles. So, because to me, the Page of Wands is about active oriented news. So news that comes through some sort of meeting somebody or watching a video through film. So there is very likely, I mean, this could even be having a, an actual physical face-to-face -face conversation with somebody as well. If you are meeting somebody this week, whether for uh, love or money or whatever the meeting is about, um, they may have valuable information for you, um, but, but with the high priestess here, it's like you really are going to have to sift through it all. Uh, I'm not, there's nothing negative with this energy, but the high priestess can sometimes denote that there may be an agenda behind an agenda. Okay, you know what I'm saying? So they may have, there may be a hidden agenda. So just be careful. I'm not saying that there is for sure. I'm just saying like, since the high priestess showed up, look beyond the obvious. Um, but with, you know, especially if you're dealing with money situations, like if you're trying to hire a financial advisor this week or really t meeting with somebody to talk about your finances, just make sure that if you get one little, you know, eh -eh in your gut, cancer, you trust it because that high priestess is showing up to let you know that your intuition is on point. And there could be, like I said, something that is not immediately apparent about somebody's motives. But all in all, I feel like this is a very good week. There could be, like I said, some sort of really good uh, idea that you get from watching somebody else do something that you want to do. And you get a really good inspiration, a good idea that you're then able to intuitively transform in a way that makes it your own. So you're not copying anybody, but you really are getting inspiration from them. And it's something that you can start implementing right away, Knight of Pentacles, into your work, whatever it may be, whatever you're working on. 
personal, professional, doesn't matter. So look for inspiration this week because it seems like that is definitely coming into your world. Especially through actual face-to-face -face conversations and videos, films. All right, let's pull an angel card for you and see what else we have. Okay, that one flipped over. It's the, and you know, it's funny. That's the same one that Gemini just got, but it flipped over. So this is also for you, Cancer. There is an opportunity coming. Now, that's what I'm saying. I feel like it's going to be the piece of information that brings you the opportunity. I don't think it's actually, it's like, because what I'm feeling from this is that you're going to have to take action on a piece of information and that creates the opportunity. Okay, but there will be an opportunity if you use this energy that you can self-generate to possibly really bring in some coin for yourself. So very, very nice energy here. All right, Leo, let's see what we have for you this week for your situationship. What is going on in Leo's world? It's almost your birthday month. Almost, Leos. Let's see. What do we have for you? We have the Muse of Voices, which is also the King of Swords. Okay, and we have the Six of Voices, Six of Swords. Okay, so very interesting energy here. Wow, wow. Very interesting. So. You could be dealing with an air sign, so Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy with this amuse of voices showing up. And Six of Swords suggesting that there is a need to move on in some way. And Six of Swords in the normal, normal tarot deck, uh, the traditional tarot deck, signals that there is some sort of escape from a troubling situation. So with the king showing up here, the muse of voices showing up, it seems that you're going to be possibly faced with making a decision. Either you're making the decision, Leo, or somebody else, especially if it's an air sign, is making the decision to um, move on in some way. So we're gonna have to pull another card, but um, there's something there's something evolving in your world this, this week with this energy. Um, let's pull another card and see what we have. We're gonna take from the top of this one. We have the Eight of Materials. So Eight of Pentacles. This is most likely related to a job situation. So you could be making this the decision this week that it's time to start looking for some better opportunities. There could be a better opportunity coming in for you for work. If you're already working, you may decide to um, you know, really up your communication game, Leo putting more social media stuff out there that will help you move on to gaining more clients and put you back to work, you know, more clients coming in, eight of pentacles here. So, so that's what I'm feeling from this energy. There could be, especially if this new boss perhaps is an air sign, um, like I said, some sort of offer to move into um, making more money. I'm just feeling like you're really focused on making decisions that are going to help you make more money so that you can escape a troubling situation, whatever that is for you. Whether that's, you know, you don't like the neighborhood you're living in, you want to make more money so you can move, you want to make more money because, you know, your, your car is really giving you a lot of trouble and you want to feel in a safer vehicle, you know, things like that. There's some sort of situation that's been weighing on your mind and you really are making the firm decision this week that you got to get it together. You got to get it together and start doing what you need to do to make that coin come in. So it's very much like I said, I feel it's like, it's like when I tell Ariel, I say, you know, I'm making an executive decision about this. Like I'm just, I'm really making an executive decision for my life and deciding that I'm just gonna have to go and do this. And I feel like that's the energy you're dealing with this week in some area of your life. And like I said, it could be something romantic also especially if you're dealing with a work romance. It could be that you decide that there could, you know, maybe there's something not quite right with that. And especially with the swords showing up, there's, especially, you know, 
always can be gossip. When swords show up, particularly with an eight of pentacles, which represents the work world. So you may decide that you want to move on from the gossip as well, if, if that applies to you. Um, remember, general, general reading. But I'm not feeling that so much. I mean, that's a possibility for some of you. If you're in a work romance, you're trying to figure out how you can uh, kind of tone down the gossip, which may involve one of you moving to a different job or a different department. Especially if the gossip has become a troubling situation. All right, let's see what else we have. Let's pull an angel card for you. Okay, we have a couple stuck together. The first one is take action. That's, yes, absolutely. And let go. Yeah. So, again, not surprised to see these two, Leo. So, it is time. It is time. But the, the six of... Um, voices here is telling us that you will escape the situation you can see this person is about to leap you will escape whatever you know troubling situation but you do have to take action to let go but the decision's going to come this week now the actual taking action maybe that'll be toward the end of the week into early next week when we have that uh new moon in cancer happening at the end of cancer so um yeah this is, this is important. This is tied in with this. But the decision comes first. You got to make that decision. You've been kind of waffling. You got to make the decision. Have a great week, Leo. All right, Virgo. Let's see what's going on for you this week with your weekly situationship energies, the general emotional energies, or what you need to know, what's going on. Ariel is assisting. And now she's evacuating the premises. <laughs> she doesn't like when I make loud noises with cards. I don't blame her. All right. Let's see what we have for you. We have the Knight of Inspiration. Hmm. Very nice. Knight of Wands. And, oh, wow. The Knight of Voices. So two, so this is the Knight of Swords. Two very fast energies for you this week, Virgo. Wow. Two, one involving um, just, this is, you know, this is physical movement. This is mental movement, right? Mental, you know, making a decision very quickly and then having to take action. Or you take action, which requires another decision that you have to make very fast. So I'm not sure which one's going to come first for you this week, um, but this suggests that Again, very fast decisions and fast movements coming in for you this week. Um, all right, let's see. One could be that you make, I mean, it could be, Virgo, that you make the decision to move on from something very quickly. I'm going to have to pull another card. I'm doing three cards for each sign. So, or because you have moved away from a situation, you have to rethink something very quickly on your feet. It's like thinking fast on your feet is this energy this week. And we have the Six of Inspiration, the Six of Wands. So some good news comes in. Six of Wands is a victory. You can see, look at this beautiful, this girl's in the spotlight. She's got the, the star over her head. She's like, woohoo, like finally something good happening. So again, this could be that it's because you think fast on your feet, you create a victory for yourself. And or some good news comes in that requires you to move fast on it. Like you cannot dawdle around this week, Virgo. Okay, like, and you know, I love you guys. But this is not about sitting around and overanalyzing and researching until midnight on Google, like how, what you should do to make the decision. That's not the energy this week for you. The energy, you're going to have to respond like this and trust i mean what i would say from this energy if something whatever comes in this week if it's the status quo if it's if an opportunity comes in that's a status quo it's not the opportunity for you so if you know because this is about fast movement forward so status quo is just stagnant it's the same old same old bs right this is not it so if you know, an old lover comes back and they have not grown, they have not changed. It's the same old story from them. 
if a family member comes back and you know tries to apologize but they well, okay great but they still haven't changed their behavior that's not going forward that's stagnant energy if um you know you uh, have applied for a job and you get oh yeah this is a job that could be for you but the salary is the same old thing i mean i know people got to work and got to eat okay so i'm not saying that if you got to take that opportunity take that opportunity but if you already have a job and something else comes in but it's not really something where you're moving forward into something better then that's that's not it so i would say this week virgo evaluate whatever's coming in for you with that in mind is it something that is quickly going to move me into something better six of wands and bring a victory to my life so this is good energy but i'm also feeling so strongly you cannot dawdle around <laughs> no dawdling virgo you got to be as quick as ariel was to jump off that desk and jump on that opportunity same thing goes if you're looking for love because you know i like to kind of bring love into these weeklies there could be very fast an opportunity coming in particularly if you are on the internet meeting people and dating and there could be a very fiery connection very sexy connection um now it's up to you how fast you want that to move but there could be a very nice connection this week <laughs> But it is kind of fast, so I don't know. That one you might evaluate a little longer, Virgo, but <laughs> you'll see. You'll see. But it is the type of thing that with Mercury retrograde, we've all kind of been waiting around, waiting around, waiting around. But, you know, now that Mercury's directing and you could find things all of a sudden just really just, just start popping. That's that energy. Popping in your world. So good. All right, let's pull an angel card for you, Virgo, and see what else is going on that you need to know about. I'm feeling for some of you, there's some sort of romantic situation. And one that you may have, like, sort of, um, like, if you really thought you'd never meet anybody, <laughs> yeah, that could really dramatically change this week. It's very possible. But I'm also feeling for a lot of you, it's more, that just fell out. Um, it's more the opportunity that um, could be connected with some sort of literary endeavor, artistic endeavor, especially Six of Wands can be like writing, drama, creative arts, that type of thing. You could get some news, especially if you um, put, put something out there for publication or an award or, you know, something like that. Because look at this, you are ready. Doesn't this look a little like an Oscar? Hmm. So I know this is not Oscar season, but it's kind of kind of reminded me of that. So you're ready, Virgo. You're ready for this. You're ready for this gorgeous, fast, beautiful opportunity that's coming in. So don't overanalyze it and have a good week. All right, Libra, let's see what your energies are for the week ahead. What do we have for you? Libra. Going on in Libra land, we have the Five of Wands and the Death card. Mm. Libra, what is happening? Okay, what I feel from this energy, and I will pull one other card to clarify, I feel that you're leaving behind a struggle this week. And of course, this is a general reading. Whatever the struggle is will be unique to each Libra out there. But this, sometimes the, the Five of Wands is, to me, it can be Five of Swords, I think, of fighting with yourself because it's a mind. You're like, you know, fighting with your own thoughts. Five of Wands can be sometimes um, doing things that are against your best interests. So in that sense, it's like a self-sabotage, okay? Um, so what I'm feeling, but this can also be fighting with other people, conflicts with other people, just drama with other people. I'm feeling that you are making the decision to move on from that. Like I'm feeling like there's an enough is enough situation for you this week. So you're really wanting to transform out of this, this energy, move out of this energy with this death card. 
Um, a Scorpio could be involved since the death card is showing up, but um, this can also, though, be connected with a family matter, uh, especially if you have Libra rising, since this is Pluto energy in the death card and Pluto is in your fourth house. If you have Libra rising of Capricorn, uh, there could be some some family issues, family struggles that you're just deciding this week enough is enough. I've got to change this, change how I'm responding to it or walk away or something like that. I cannot continue with this. It's ridiculous. Okay, let's pull another card and see what we have for you from the top. Okay, so we have the Seven of Swords. So what I'm feeling from this is that... Um, it's probably with some sort of either, like I said, family relation, family situation, um, but also with the Seven of Swords, the Seven could be in astrology, the Seventh House is partnerships. So there could even be some business partnership. Seven of Swords can be, you know, trying to uh, run away from a situation, not reveal all of your feelings. So, and Libra sometimes you don't like to always reveal all of your feelings because you do like to maintain a sense of decorum and propriety. Usually Libra likes to keep things kind of like peace, peaceful. Um, so while I feel like you are making a decision to transform whatever this five of wands represents for you in your world, you're going to do it in a way that saves face seven of swords. Even if you have to tell a little fib now, I'm not one for fibbing, <laughs> but you know, there's a way to fib where it's not really a fib. So you may be telling the truth, but telling it slant, as Emily Dickinson said in her poetry. So you're telling it the truth in such a way that helps you escape or transform the situation, but isn't too harsh to somebody else. Because this could be somebody you really care about, like a family relationship. But like I said, so I feel like you've, you're feeling like you need to put your foot down. You need to put a boundary. You need to transform this energy. But you're going to do it in a way that is graceful and may involve not telling a brutal truth. Even though you know what the brutal truth is. But you also know that if you tell that brutal truth, which you may have to. I mean, everybody's situation is different. These are general readings. So, you know, again take that for what it's worth if you tell a brutal truth which you know you may i don't know that will really end the situation and end the tie forever i feel or likely forever so that's your call libra how you want to handle that obviously it's your life your decisions but this energy is suggesting um those things that I just mentioned. Okay. So be careful of how much truth you tell because you could really, um, end a situation forever. And that may be what you want. So you have to decide if you're going to burn a bridge with a brutal truth this week. That's what I feel. Or burn a bridge with a graceful truth. And that leaves maybe one little, one little piece of the bridge still left that you can maybe build upon later if you want. All right, let's pull an angel card for you, Libra. That <laughs> just like flew out, flew out. So this is important for you guys. I am gonna pull another one. Look for a sign. So you'll know. I think you'll know from whatever your personal signs are that you you use Libra in terms of if you're going to have to tell a brutal truth or a graceful truth. You'll know. Ask for a sign and you'll get your answer. All right, let's pull one more. Ask for help from others. Okay. So that may be important for some of you, especially if you're dealing with some sort of family issue. This could be like, for example, if you are dealing with somebody in your family who needs an intervention, which that's possible with this energy. That's this Pluto, whatever's coming up, it's Pluto energy. It's the death card. Like it is deep transformational stuff. And Pluto energy can deal with facing addictions, facing dysfunction, facing problems. So 
if you're dealing with somebody who may need help and you're like kind of at your the end of your rope you may have to ask for help from others to to deal with that situation um so i feel though that it will have a positive outcome libra uh it's up to you to decide how you want to handle it ultimately but um it will be okay and others will be on board with you it says ask for help from others so there will be people who are standing by to help you with whatever this situation is this week so try to have a good week libra all right scorpio let's see what is going on for you this week your emotional energies kind of like to try to look at some love matters in these weeklies your emotional energies what is going on scorpio oh not again and i shuffled seven of swords we just had that with libra and the queen of wands okay the queen of inspiration and the seven of swords okay so if you've been hatching a plan Scorpio always has a plan. If you've been hatching a plan for your world, whatever it might be, but Queen of Wands is usually some sort of business enterprise, some sort of creative project, something where you can be large and in charge, some aspect of your life you want to take real control over and make something really happen, transform it in a powerful, energized way. Please don't tell people about it. Okay, Seven of Swords. Okay, so Scorpio, keep your creative ideas your creative plans whatever you're working on this week seven of swords don't be telling people now normally you don't tell people scorpio plays things pretty close to their chest right but i feel with the queen of wands here queen of inspiration there is like you're excited about something and this could be a love this could be a new love this but i'm really feeling it's more something business personal creative project and you're fired up and you know when you got that enthusiasm and you're excited sometimes things slip out and sometimes people sense that energy they're like hey Scorpio what's going on with you like you're like you know really popping this week what's happening and so you may share a little tidbit this energy is telling me do not share a tidbit keep your plans and keep that creative fired up manifestation energy to yourself because when you share too many of your ideas, your plans, what you want to create, it dissipates the energy. Part of powerful manifestation practices is to hold the energy close and concentrated within you. So that's what I'm feeling. Don't disperse this creative energy. Go on the down low with it, Seven of Swords. Don't be sharing what you're doing. Because it's going to be big. Fool. So, you are, you are creating some new, joyful, wonderful something in your world, Scorpio. And with Mercury finally going direct, I feel like you have gotten kind of, I think we're all feeling this way. That Mercury retrograde this last time was not that great. It was pretty, pretty brutal. I think because Venus was retrograde for so long and then, you know, all these other planets are retrograde. It was just like kind of a mess. So I feel like this week, like you're breaking out and breaking free and breaking through to some inspired idea because you're feeling just this sense of possibility and release in your life and and there is a whole new beginning happening for you whole new beginning the fool card this is gorgeous so it's also time this week for some creative play as well playing around with some of the ideas that you want to manifest but again keep these things close to you and particularly if there's a fire sign energy in your world I'm not saying they're going to steal your idea or steal your clients or steal your thunder, but this is just the energy that I'm feeling that's coming out. It will come time soon enough, Scorpio, when you will be sharing with people what your new journey is all about. This week, it's time to keep that energy close to you. Okay. Very nice. Very, very nice, Scorpio. 
All right, let's pull one of these cards and see what else we have for you. I mean, it is possible also that a fire sign is keeping something from you, but you know, you can't ever really keep something from the Scorpio. <laughs> like they, they know. You may think you're keeping something from them, especially like when fire signs try to be all like, you know, sneaky and whatever. Like, no, it's like, like, like you're, you know, like something's up with them. So that's possible as well. I'm not feeling that as strongly though. I'm feeling it's more like you need to keep your energy closer to you this week. For this brand new fresh project fresh start new path you're working on all right let's see let go there's something about letting go of some old energy scorpio that's what i'm feeling for this week and this may be part of this energy as well this seven of swords as I just have advised to Libra, <laughs> you may have to tell a little bit of um, a truth that's a little slanted, but it's still a truth. Um, you may have to decide to tell somebody uh, you're busy. Well, you are busy. I mean, you're working on manifesting this stuff um, because you really don't want to continue to invest in that particular relationship or connection. You really do want to let it go, but you don't want to be mean. So you may have to tell a little you know, part, partial truth or something like that. That's possible. Um, but I'm also feeling like with these two energies, there may be something that you haven't been admitting to yourself that does need to be let go in your world to have this beautiful, fresh energy fully come into your life. So, so again, that can be a person, a place you're living or a lot of like clutter and stuff you just don't need anymore on your new path. So Take a look at that energy this week, Scorpio. This is this is good energy this week, so enjoy it. Have a great week. Okay, Sagittarius, let's see what we have for whoops for you this week. Your weekly situation ship. What we have going on, the emotional energies. What is happening? Okay. We have the hanged muse, the hangman. Okay, and we have the ace of swords. So after a period of waiting, you're doing it. <laughs> you are making that decision. Because this period of waiting, and this was, I feel, the Mercury retrograde for you, which finally ended today, July 12th, when I'm filming this. So... That Mercury retrograde was necessary for you to reevaluate this big, I really just feel it's this big kind of life decision that you are making. Um, so, yeah, you've been really struggling making this decision. But the clarity has come. And you were kind of antsy, like you wanted to make the decision, but... The timing didn't cooperate. There was a timing issue. And it wasn't just Mercury retrograde shenanigans. I feel like there was also some timing issues with you and trying to connect with some other people and it just was not flowing. So, but it gave you the time for some clarity and for some checking in and for some letting go. And now this week you're making the decision, the Ace of Swords, and it's gonna be great. You're spreading your wings and flying this week, Sagittarius. Once once you make this decision, it's like you're going to just feel this load lifting off your shoulders. All right, let's pull from the top here and see what else we have. Yeah, we have the Five of Cups. So that's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling like this was, was very, this is a very emotional decision. Um, now, for some of you, the decision will make well let me let me rephrase the decision you make i feel is ultimately going to be great for you and you will feel a load lightning however the five of cups showing up here can mean a couple of things it can mean that because of your decision you have to let somebody down somebody gets disappointed 
because of the decision you make that's right for you. And the Five of Cups can also be regrets. So there may be some regret tinged with this decision you're making. And we can, I mean, we're not just, you know, one dimensional beings. We can have simultaneous, seemingly disparate emotions going on at the same time. So you can feel a sense of lightning and happiness, but also a sense of regret. We cannot do everything in this world. We'd like to, but we can't. So that's what I'm feeling. It's like there is something about this situation that um, you wish it could have, have, could have, have happened, but there's some other destiny unfolding for you. Now, you could be dealing with a Pisces. The Hangman card can be Piscean. Um, but I'm also feeling with these two energies as well, it's like the decision you've made or you're making this week is because you realize that you cannot sacrifice your happiness for somebody else. And, you know, Sagittarius, you don't like to be the bad guy. You don't like to disappoint people. You just want life to be a party. Everybody's happy. Uh, but you weren't happy. That's the thing. Like, if any sign can, you know, has this theme song, Tears of a Clown, that's you guys. Right? You, you show up happy, buoyant, everybody thinks you're fine, and then behind the scenes, it's like tears of a clown. You're, you know, crying behind the scenes. So, the bird's just making a big noise outside my window there, affirming that energy. So, you have got to make this decision for yourself. And if other people get disappointed and you may still have regrets about maybe how it goes down and that the person's sad, ultimately you must choose yourself. You must. Okay, you cannot sacrifice your happiness. All right, let's pull this. I'm really feeling this is very strongly connected to a love situation for you guys. I feel it's very personal. I'm not sure. It could be connected with work, but I'm not feeling that. I'm feeling it's very much a personal romance and or family situation. So, all right. Let's pull another card for you. Okay, like, what was that, universe? <laughs> okay, like, no, I'm not doing all that. Let's, let's do it again. I don't know. I, I don't like to share, like, my personal issues with people, but I do have carpal tunnel. So sometimes when I'm shuffling, that's why I like to put the cards down and shuffle because I have more control over them. Sometimes when I'm shuffling like this, yeah, things just fall out of my hands, and that's just the way it is. Okay, let's see what we have for you guys. Come on, I want one card. I'm not cooperating. Come on. One. Now notice, this card is be assertive. Not aggressive, but assertive. So you do, you have to assert with this ace of voices, you have to make sure that the other person clearly understands your decision and understands the new boundary. I'm feeling there's also some boundary issues, the new boundary that you're going to be having to put into place, Sagittarius. Okay, so this is not a week to just think that somehow the universe is magically going to take care of this situation you need to take care of it so be assertive speak your truth ace of swords ace of voices speak your truth even though it may disappoint somebody ultimately it will liberate you so have a good week Sagittarius all right Capricorn let's see what we have for you guys for this week your weekly energies your emotional situations what's happening in Capricorn land let me know all right Capricorn what do we have for you guys oh, I love it six of wands six of inspiration and the two of cups Ooh. okay very nice energy here so Capricorn, there could be some lucky connection coming in this week. This could be reuniting with somebody. This uh, could be somebody new coming in. There's a, I'm just feeling a lucky meeting. Two of Cups, a meet, and this could be, again, friend, business, romance, doesn't matter. 
uh, right now. We'll pull one more card, but with this energy, some sort of glorious victory is at hand. And I, I keep telling you guys that new love is coming. And for now that Mercury's finally out of retrograde, um, it is very possible that you meet some new connection this week. And despite the current situation, people are still out and about and meeting people and people meet online and all of that. So apply your social distancing measures to what I am saying. Um, uh, if you have a job interview this week, it could go really, really well. This signals that any personal meetings you're having this week, personal connections are with like-minded people. Two of Cups, two like simpatico energies coming together, gorgeous energy, and something beautiful emerges from that connection. Six of Wands is an awesome card. All right, let's see what we have on the top. The Hermit. Ooh, okay. So, wow. You could be meeting a new Virgo. Virgo energy is the Hermit energy. Um, but what I'm also feeling, when I saw this, I was like, oh, Capricorn, you're so ready. You're so ready. Stop retreating into your Hermit mode. So, <laughs> that's what I feel from this energy. But I also, this is another thing I feel from this. I feel that your week can be one of balance. Your week can be one where you're enjoying meeting, greeting, connecting with other people, and also we know Capricorn likes their alone time. Having some time alone to contemplate life, tune into your spiritual wisdom, maybe work on some personal project that's very near and dear to you, especially a personal project you have to do alone in the quiet, you know, writing, studying, uh, creating something, whatever it is you like to do that does kind of require you to have a little room of your own and, and do it in that space. Um, I think also there can be a very beautiful victory coming from something that you do regularly by yourself. What are, you know, so, but, but it's something that is, I feel it's a creatively oriented um, thing with the hermit and it really taps into your deep spiritual wisdom as well. Um, but could be something very good. And the other thing I'm feeling with this energy, I know this is a weekly reading, but um, this signals to me also that this connection, this new connection or a renewed connection, but I feel it's going to be a new one, a new connection or a new offer to connect in, in a way like you might have a friend, you know them, or you just met an acquaintance, met a new person in your life and they contact you with an offer to reconnect and maybe work on some sort of project or get involved on a more deeper personal level. Um, that energy, I feel, carries you into Virgo season with the Six of Wands here. So whatever starts this week in that regard has legs. It has, an, it has um, an opportunity to really evolve for you into something very interesting, I feel. This is great energy. Really, really good. Okay, let's see. But like I said, with the Hermit card coming up, it could be... Uh, a Virgo coming in, but or somebody strongly uh, with Virgo in their chart, or possibly even somebody who is in the healing arts. Virgo, of course, being the sign of healing. So, I mean, in healing arts, you know, covers a wide array. You could be connecting with a new healer this week if you've been looking to. Um, you know, find a new doctor, find a new therapist, find, but, but you haven't just been able to, like everybody you meet, you're just not feeling the vibe, right? Uh, you could meet somebody finally this week that you feel, okay, this is the right person to be my therapist or be my doctor, or be my massage therapist, be my, uh, you know, spiritual coach, whatever it might be. So that's another possibility with that energy. Very nice. All right, let's see what else we have for you. Don't be a hermit this week, Capricorn, <laughs> you know? There's going to be an opportunity to connect. Okay, that card, <laughs> that card is flipping over. Okay, so we have compromise here, so that's interesting. Um, so, for some of you, remember it's a general reading. For some of you, I feel like you're already involved in a partnership, perhaps, I'm going to pull another angel card for you. So hold on, Capricorn, if you feel like this energy is not fitting you. I feel like this is connected to the Two of Cups. I feel like if there is a relationship you're already in, Capricorn, um, there is a need 
especially with a Virgo, but there is a need to work on some sort of compromise about uh, perhaps something connected with um, a medical treatment, something to do with healing, something to do with alone time. Like you, Capricorns need their alone time. So it may be that this other person you're involved with doesn't really understand that. You may need to work out a compromise with them, especially if it's a new relationship where you have your alone time and they aren't feeling like you're not interested in them because that's not true. So, and that will have a satisfactory outcome, the Six of Wands. You'll be able to work that out with them. That's what I'm feeling for some of you. You may just need, to, there, there could be just something you're processing, Capricorn. I'm feeling this also. Like that you're going, I mean, we know with all the energy in Capricorn and what's been going on, you could be processing something very deep this week and you just need some time alone. And I'm just feeling like like somebody in your world could be taking it the wrong way and they, they really shouldn't. <laughs> they really shouldn't. Okay. Take action this week, Capricorn. Especially in terms of some meeting or a new person coming in. Don't let that one pass you by. There could be some really good opportunity with that that could go into, like I said, Virgo season. So do what you need to do to get some alone time this week, but also make time to meet and greet and take action on some new connection. All right, Aquarius, let's see what we have for you this week. Your weekly emotional energies, emotional situationships for Aquarius. Three of Swords and the Eight of Wands. So whatever's been troubling you, especially I feel like the last three weeks, which has been this freaking Mercury retrograde, whatever worries, troubles, little bit of heartache that you've been going through, baby, you're moving fast away from that energy this week, this Eight of Wands coming in. So I'm really feeling like this is that old song, baby, baby, don't look back. It won't do no good. <sighs> okay. So there may be a little twinge of something this week, Aquarius. Uh, but I'm feeling it's coming from the past. Maybe, like I said, since it's Three of Swords showing up the last three weeks, something maybe have happened. But there's a tor corner you turn this week where you really start moving on from that and moving on from it quickly and i would say also with the eight of wands here it's about really utilizing every means necessary that you have at your disposal to move away from it so whatever you gotta do eight of wands is like throwing everything at something every like spaghetti at the wall you throw everything out of at a situation at a problem whatever and whatever works works you try it all so same token if this has been a little tender and it's still like you're trying to get over whatever this was, do everything in your power to do that. Distract yourself. Watch, you know, binge watch Netflix. Go out for a walk. Uh, read a book. Uh, talk online to somebody. I mean, whatever. Like, throw everything at it to distract yourself. Eight of Wands is physical energy. Doing stuff to get out of this funk. Let's pull from the top of this other deck. Ace of Wands. All right. So you're turning this Ace of Wands. You're turning. You see this beautiful energy here. I'm feeling you're turning an emotional corner this week with this energy. We have two wands here. And I feel by the time next week we get into Leo season, you'll be really, for the most part, kind of out of this energy. I mean, again, it's a general reading. I don't know what this would represent for you, for every Aquarian out there, the Three of Swords. You know, usually it's some sort of breakup, heartache, but it can also just be a, a very, you know, an expectation you had that wasn't met and it wasn't met in kind of a painful way. So it's more than a slight disappointment, but it may not be an entire heartbreak. So let's put it that way. Um, because I'm feeling, like I said, especially this, if this happened in the last three weeks, it's like you're moving out of it very fast and you will move out of it definitely I'm feeling this fresh energy coming in for you by Leo season next week. So again, Ace, Ace of Wands upright is like, 
I also feel you will receive an affirmation from the universe, some sort of message this week, Aquarius, that you are moving in the right direction. Um, you know, the Ace of Wands is the cosmic yes, is the sign from the universe that says, hey, you got this. And you do. So it will be okay. It will absolutely be okay. All right, let's pull, let's pull an angel card for you, Aquarius. But the worst thing you could do right now is like sitting in the dark dwelling on it. Like not going to help. It's, you got to, with societal um, social distancing measures in place, as best you can, you've got to do stuff that will take your mind off of it. And wands are physical. So throw everything you can on it and watch for that sign from the universe that you're doing good because you are. All right, let's find a card for you. I like when they pop out. Okay, that one just flipped over. So yes, there is a peaceful resolution. This is healing this week, Aquarius. It is healing, whatever that Three of Swords is for you. And you will come to an acceptance, a peaceful resolution, and it will be fine, so hold on to that. All right. Have a good week, Aquarius. All right, Pisces, let's see what's going on for you this week with your emotional energies, your situationship. What's happening with Pisces? Pisces. Okay. What do we have for you? God, this card has been coming up a lot this, uh, this session. Two of Cups and, ooh, the Knight of Swords. So, wow. There's going to be some sort of very fast texting, email conversation with somebody else. This could be some new person you just started dating. Um, this could be a, somebody new coming in this week with this Knight of Swords here. Uh, this can be a very quick arrangement of a date because Two of Cups is an actual face-to-face -face meeting. So uh, Knight of Swords is fast communication. Let's pull from the top here and see what else we have. Oh, the world. Wow, isn't this interesting, Pisces? All right. So there could be a very fast decision that you're making this, this week to travel to go and meet somebody. Now this could be a friend, family member, new love, whatever the case may be. I mean, it could be work related, but I'm not exactly feeling that. I really feel it's a personal, personal connection. Um, and there's something possibly also related to the closing of a chapter with this situation um, for some of you. Remember, it's a general reading. But the world card can indicate that a situation is wrapping up. So this is classic energy where, you know, you have to go help somebody move, right? Or you got news, God forbid, family member passes or something like that. Now, I'm not saying that's happening. Okay, I'm just saying, or a friend's family member passes, something like that. And you've got to move quick and go to be with the person, clean out the, the house. You know, it's it's... It's like something of that nature is possible. Um, and especially in this time where people haven't been able to travel, there's been restrictions. And, you know, I every pe people from all over the world watch this channel, which I'm very grateful for. Thank you. Um, so not everybody's under restrictions and lockdowns and stuff like that. So you may find that you may make a decision to take a spur of the moment trip to meet somebody. Uh, but the spur of the moment trip may also be um, to wrap up somebody's situation in some way. So this could be your situation. This could be somebody else's situation. Um, like I said, if somebody unfortunately has passed, you have to go settle their affairs, that type of energy. All right. Um, so, but with this energy here, the trip should be good. The trip should be very fruitful 
And there also should be, I feel, oh, some sort of, you know, real reconnection with an important energy for you. Now, this may be a literal person, like I said, but this can also be with something from your past. Um, you know, kind of, like, I'm feeling almost like for some of you, there's like a, um, this could even be like a school reunion. I know nobody's gathering in big groups and stuff like that, but like going to your hometown and like the childhood sweetheart, like I'm feeling like for, for one of you, some of you, something like that. I'm getting like childhood sweetheart energy. Um, and that's kind of an unexpected side note of this trip. You may be going for some other reason and then that kind of pops up. Okay, but the decision comes this week. The actual trip may not be this week, but it might be for some of you. Um, but it comes in fast. News comes in fast about traveling to go meet somebody for a very important reason. The world here, the world card is here. It's not just some frivolous, oh, I got to get out of the house type reason. No, it is important. Okay, so... And I would also say you're probably not going to think twice about going. You'll figure it out. You'll figure it out how you're going to go and how you're going to get there and whatever. It's that. I feel it's that important. If this is resonating for you, it's like, this is like a must go, must do. You will move, I mean, literally heaven and earth to go on this trip to meet this person or meet with people in this situation, whatever this relates to for you. Okay, it's it's that important. Okay, Let's see what else. Let's pull an angel card for you. Let's see what else we have for you, Pisces. get a card here oh that one just that one went flying helpful people yeah so I'm saying like this I'm really feeling very strongly like the energies the angels and angels are ordinary people too <laughs> angels there's angels all around us in the guise of ordinary people every day so there are some angels on your path this week and when you go on this trip that will help you and get you to where you need to be because like I said, this is important. So know that you're protected and that you are helped, Pisces, on whatever this journey means for you. Okay, have a great week. Thank you guys so much for watching. And remember that if you would like to book a personal reading with me, you can. The link is in the description. And, uh, you know, you might want to book early because my schedule gets filled up very, very quickly. So um, I am offering now emergency readings. If you need to get squeezed into my schedule a little faster, you can take advantage of that as well. So I wish you all the best for a lovely week ahead. Take care. I'll see you again soon. Stella Wilde signing out.